Week three brought me to the old capital of Japan, Kyoto. My first stop was the Fushumi Inari Shrine and the mountain. The red Tori gates are actually donations from people and companies, and they line the trail up to the mountain. I feel so lucky to be able to walk down here. It's just stunning, absolutely stunning. When you're here, get prepared for a lot of stairs. The stairs are steep and seem to be never ending. I reach the halfway point and the view of Kyoto is breathtaking. I can't believe I'm only halfway. It is such a workout. There must be like a thousand steps or something. It was 27 degrees and this dude is in a jumper and jeans. What the actual fuck? I made it to the top of the mountain. <laughs> Woo! I'll back down again. It took me two hours to trek up the mountain and I did it in Converse, not good. I took a trip to Gion and I thought it would be very quiet and traditional with geisha walking around, but it was actually really busy and it seemed like any other city really. It of course had some great narrow streets, old buildings and wicked views, but overall I was a bit disappointed to be honest, but I was only there for a couple of hours, so. But check this sign, if you litter, it's an on the spot 200 pound fine, no matter who you are. And I love the fact people leave their bikes anywhere. No locks, no chains, no teeths. Next stop was food, but not horse meat. I decided on expensive steak, which cost me around 15 pounds, which you barbecue yourself. Check the size of it. Little cubes. But just to say that they were tiny, but they were the best and juiciest pieces of steak I've ever tasted in my life. And that ended my day in Kyoto. Back in Tokyo, I was introduced to Jam Rock Cafe by the lovely Alroy. It's a proper Jamaican restaurant and I had curried goat. Lush. Go there, it's near Harajuku Station. I'm big up to the owner and cook, Yvonne. After a boogie at SSB Dancers Night, I got to experience the first train home. So it's time to catch the first train home. Um, I've been dancing all night, I'm knackered. Look at my hair, it's a friggin' mess. But I had such a good night. Japanese know how to party. Time for bed. Good night. I also got to experience my first typhoon. Listen to the rain. This was apparently the worst typhoon in the last 10 years. So I met this Australian guy called Daniel, aka Sensei, on the subway and he invited me to my first karate tournament. I cannot believe they actually use wooden blocks and check this guy with the ice block. What the hell? Boom! Love these karate kids. They would kick my ass. The actual tournament was amazing. Check the sumo dudes. And look at this. Oops! Ball kick. The sumo dude actually won the tournament. He was hardcore. It's the end of week three and I've really enjoyed being here at the 45th Japan Karate Championships. So see you next week. Sayonara! Yeah.